Hey guys, it was Bumpy TV. Guys, you're gonna be reacting with Jessica. Guys, you're gonna be reacting to why the Muslim women wear why the Muslim women have to wear the veil or hijab. I mean that. But guys, I recently kind of came across that hijab was not written in the Quran. Like it was not written, but it it was written that you have to cover your hair, but it doesn't mean you should use hijab. I think you can use a scarf or something. Well, guys, let's get straight into this. Right. Um, I've been told that women in Islam wear a veil because in this way men will treat them respectfully. Um, but I see the veil as a form of oppression because why should they have to cover themselves um, because of the weakness of men? Shouldn't they be treated with respect regardless? Could you please explain the veil and did Mary have to wear a veil? Yes. Madam, Madam, your Bible says, your holy Bible says, you know, Paul, Paul, Paul is telling you that the woman must cover her head, that the woman who doesn't cover her, shave off her hair. Your Bible says that. <laughs> ah, 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 this is like... Feel like it come back. This is a weak me. But serious, the Bible actually says that. So wait, wait, wait. I want to ask this question to a lady. Why do you guys not cover your hair? I go my when I go to church. We went to church last Sunday. You not cover your hair. See, I'll just say. See, I blame everything on Jesse. Move on. Nah, I, I feel I feel we are that's the truth. This is the break between Islam and Christianity. Islam don't care about what the world is doing. They care mm. about what they are strictly by their religion. That's how it's supposed to be. They are prospect. That's how it's meant to be. Yes. So, so why are you going against the Bible? Let me just be honest. I feel like most of us have, you know, left what our religion requires because we want to feel comfortable in our place of worship. Yeah. And it's not meant to be so, to be honest, because this is what is in the Bible. This is what we are meant to do. But we just want to feel comfortable at our place of worship. I don't feel comfortability. I feel it's more of you want to belong. I, I would say, okay, we can say for some people comfortability and then some people to belong because there are some churches in, um, okay, where I stay, Abuja, there are some churches and they wear like trousers to church and then there are some churches you can't wear trousers to church, like my church. Yeah. If you wear trousers, they walk your house. But then some churches, they embrace you even with bomb shots. I have seen. I have seen I yeah. I, I, I feel what most of those church feel is that that this has happened to a lot of people. They don't like take you out because you are dressed in a certain kind of way. They allow they try to allow the world to penetrate you and you know what? no no you know you know Jesus actually dined with a lot of people. He he didn't really he did not cast away prostitutes, he made them understand what they are doing is wrong. So I get that is why they are trying to allow those kinds of people. Because there are a lot of people that are dressed, that used to dress that certain way, but based on knowledge and understanding the gospel, they actually change from. But do you know something? There's a particular church, I'm not going to mention the church, but I once went there for a program and it was like, you know, teens. And so you see, we went for the program and you see these people, what they want to church, okay, I can say, okay, let's just say it's a program, so that's how it is. But then the Sunday we went to church, it was worse than the program. <laughs> and then the Sunday after, it was still the same. Now you can't tell me they accepted these people with what they were and how they've been living life. Okay, they are meant to be changed. These are people that have been in that church for 
two years plus and yet they even dress worse to come to church. That is it. See, there are people that are in church because they, they want to fulfill all righteousness and see they're in church. But there are some people that are in church because they want to seek God. That's the difference. Like, people are in church because maybe their parents are going to church or mm -hmm. their friends are going to church. There are some people that are in church because they want to seek God. So I feel that's the difference. Okay, guys, let's get back into this video. Two videos about girls. <laughs> The woman, the woman who bears her hair, says, shave them off, shave it off. That's what the Bible says. And you woman, the, your Bible says she must not be allowed to open her mouth in the church. But that's your churches, they don't believe all that. And your people don't believe in that. So you are inviting trouble. You know, because of this, in America, in New York, no woman is safe after dark. No woman is safe in France. During daytime, women have been raped in the street and people just walk by, looking the fun. Say, oh, maybe they're enjoying themselves. Woman is being raped. No, no. I said, you are inviting it. Look, this modesty, the nuns, the nuns, you know, the nuns, Roman Catholic Church. Nobody gives them a second look. Yeah. If Mary, the mother of Jesus, came along, you won't give her a second look. But my dear sisters, those women on your Gold Coast at Scarborough and all that with bikinis and tangas and G-strings, look. Sure. I, I, I really like her, you know, and this, this particular... It's attracting... <laughs> it's very like me. I think it's very Yes, it's giving you a if, if I went there, I tell you, I'll be burning inside. I'm telling you, look, this is the nature of man. God made us like that. The thing that allures man more than anything on earthly existence is woman. Do you know that? I don't know. The Quran says, the Quran says, Fear in the sight of men is the love of things they covet. Number one, women. Then sons. You know, I've got 11 sons. I can make my own football team. You know, how, how do, you know, it makes me feel proud. I've got 11 sons, you know, my own football team, my own cricket team. Mm -hmm. Well, Banin, and number three, well, Qanatir al Mukantarat min al Zahabi al Fidda, and hoarded heaps of gold and silver, and wealthy land, and horses branded for excellence, and all this. This is the list that is given in the Quran. Number one, women. The Quran says, the thing that allures man most on this earthly existence is woman. And I'm telling my Western friends that I don't have to prove that to you. I don't have to convince you. I said, you see, in my country, in the city of Durban, city of Durban, I think we'll end with this. We'll end with this. Okay? We'll end with this. In the city of Durban, there is a firm called Lucian Motors. They sell second-hand trucks. You know, lorries, lorries, trucks. You call them trucks here too? Trucks. We call them trucks. And on the trucks that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the truck. Then G North, they sell farm implements. And on the tractors that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the tractor. I'm asking these Westerners, I said, what has a woman in the bikini got to do with a second-hand truck or with a tractor? Except the man. You see, the woman is being dangled, so he'll read the advert. And BMW, I don't know you have BMWs here. It's a motor car, it's a motor car supposed to be a little better than the Mercedes-Benz. I'm not in the market for it. You see, I started with the Volkswagen Beetle, I did 120,000 miles, and I had to change for another Beetle, and another Beetle, and another Beetle. Then they stopped making the Beetle, you know, Volkswagen Beetle. They started the Golf, so I had to buy Golf number one, Golf number two. I'm still not in the market for a BMW, but I am forced to read this advert. In my newspaper, I see a BMW motor car and with a woman in the scampi, skimpiest of bikini, what you call the tanga, you know, the G-string. She, she's standing in front of the motor car and it's, it's written at the bottom, test drive her now. I'm asking, I'm asking the woman of the car. The woman is buying the car. 
and the her is underlined. Test drive her now. I said, look, this is what you're leading yourself to. This is the Westerner. He sells his mother, his wife, his daughter. His wife is a star, and she's being mangled on the screen, simulating rape. And they, they enjoy it. You, you enjoy your wife being simulated. It's not real rape, but you know, it's simulated. You can see everything about it. She's being raped, your mother, your wife, your daughter. And you enjoy, your wife is a star. So, sick, sick. No, yes. alhamdulillah. Praise be to God. We haven't come to that sickness yet, we Muslims. We try, we try to keep away from it. This is your pleasure, your privilege. We have no right to force you. But we say, you are playing with fire, my child, and you're going to pay the price. You're paying the price now, and you will pay the price. But if I'm being honest, with no disrespect to anybody, I feel this message or this answer is the fact. I'm not trying to disrespect women in any way, but to be honest, like because if if you think of it, like nowadays you see girls with that in serious relationship having an OnlyFans page and their boyfriend be watching the rubbish that people and then like it does not make sense. for me I feel it does not make sense because it actually does not like when he said you see your maybe your mother is an actress and you see her having sex on the and then like my mom is a star. Like it does not make sense. Like this is one reason why people actually convert. Because Islam, they follow their religion to the core, and they believe in this modest thing, mm -hmm. and they believe in respect. A woman is supposed to respect a man, and a man is supposed to give a woman her respect. Yes. Like it, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Like it's logical. But and then I mean, I will not say in Christianity is also like bad but some people don't they, that, that is it i feel because in christianity you don't really I, f, I, f, I feel it's not being enforced like you just feel i'm praying to god so I, like you can't tell me what to do or the church can't tell me what to do if you don't accept me yet there's this church that will okay, come out that, will, that will also accept me because i think christianity is, 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 is wild like christianity is I, I feel people are doing a lot of rubbish under the name of being Christians. Like, that's the truth. Different yeah. churches are coming up under the name of being Christian. And it seems clearly written, like, during the end times, there will be false prophets. So, like, we know that prophets are coming out. Not all of them are actually real. Like, so they are just faking it. And then another thing Amit said, he was like, even if they are being raped on the road, you actually wouldn't know. You just think like, oh, probably they are having fun actually because the way some ladies are even dressed, they are like, they are like open to anything. To I, I feel life is becoming wild. Like, people ready to have sex anywhere. And, like, if, if you look at our generation, you, you if you want to be honest and you don't want to be taking side, just know that we are coming, we are we'll soon hit doom, like, it's, it's, it's close, it's very, very close. Only the because, God can save us. <laughs> I don't think we can anymore, because I think we're past that, like, we've done a lot. still pray for mercy, though, because that's the only thing that I'm just saying. Pray for mercy when you're going back to the same, it does not just make sense. That's... But guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time, guys. Please.